is Alex Taylor um, from Rosine, Kentucky, and um, I'm the author of The Name of the Nearest River, a collection of short stories forthcoming from Sarah Van Brooks. The people here that I write about are um, oftentimes on the margins of society, whether they know it or not. Violent men, a lot of the time, I don't know why, as I said, you know, I'm not, don't consider myself that violent. If they're ashamed of their poverty, they often react out of desperation, caused both by shame and, and the desperate nature of their circumstances. Down at the lake, Lustus took the crumpled orchid from his pocket and threw it into the water. It floated and turned and drifted into the bank, and the day was very near dark. He sat holding the rod, waiting for something to come up from the evening depths. There was now in him the desire to wrangle one thing out of the dark waters and have it leap and fight and finally be subdued by his hand. Because there is a kind of faith with fishing, it is the belief that the brevity of all things is not bitter, but a calm moment beside calm water is enough to still the breaking of all hearts everywhere. Lustus reeled in his line. His bait was gone. He put another piece of liver on the hook, then threw the line out again. He waited. The day was sleepy and the world everywhere was still as held breath. Behind him fell the sound of footsteps, of nearing folks but he kept watching his line where it dipped into the motionless lake. Well, Rosine is really small. As, as you see now, there's not even a stoplight. There's never been a stoplight. We won't have it. Why do people stay? Is that what you're asking? Why do people yeah. stay? because they're loyal, because to leave would be a sin in some ways, because they can't get rid of the guilt that comes with leaving a place like this. The people are born to the place, um, so how can you leave what you're born to? It's almost like you're refuting your own self if you leave. And I was always felt that it was a culturally rich place, um, you know, albeit fraught with its own um, sins. That, that's one thing I, I guess I tried to infuse my stories with is um, an opportunity for volition to remake the self. Not, it's not enough simply to depend on God, I don't think. The self has to make, be an active participant in its own redemption. And you, of course, it goes without saying, you have to be damned before you can be saved. Now the sunken highway is still there. Drive past it someday and you'll see what it is. It is a span of concrete lost amid dirty waters, the way of all terminal journeys. And it is profitable to consider, just for a single moment, the way we settle into the want of things, and that perhaps, given the bitter nature of life, what we are really after is to be stolen from, to be beset by thieves and have all of our struggle end in bereavement. It's lesser and more ignoble things that bring most men to tears. <laughs>